Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. So today we're going to be looking at the AND function on Power Automate. The AND function allows us to use two different equations and work out if they are both either true, they are both false, or if one is true and one is false, then we get a return of false so that we can see if they are either true or they are false. So let's actually take a look at this more deeper then. We're going to start with a variable of name and we're going to assign the string of Flojo to it. Then we're going to start with another variable of number and we're going to assign a one digit to it, an integer. Then we use the AND function and we're going to pass in another function of contains and we're going to pass in the variable name and then we're going to pass in Joe to see if the Flojo name variable contains Joe. Then we're going to pass in another function of equals. We're going to pass in the number variable and then pass in one. So we've got two functions within the AND function right now. So let's actually take a look at the contains function then. So what the contains function is doing is it's just checking to see if Joe is within the variable that we've passed in of name, flow Joe. So this will be true. Then we pass in the number variable into an equals function, separated by a comma, and then we pass in a digit of one. So we're checking to see if the variable number, which is one, is equal to one. So we're using two separate functions here, and then we're going to work out if they are both true, both false, or if one is true and one is false, then we can actually react to that. So in this instance, and contains name of Joe and equals number one will return a true value. Let's actually take a look at that on Power Automate then. Right, so we are on Power Automate and um, I've got a manual trigger to start the flow. I've got a variable being created of flow Joe uh, with the string value of flow Joe and I'm creating a number variable with the value of one. Then I'm using a do until loop. So I'm saying that when this number value is equal to five, we're going to stop. So what's actually going to happen then is we're going to come into this do until while the number is less than five, we're going to then check this if it's, um, Less than five, we're going to then increment it by one, and then we're going to cycle through it until it's five. So what we're anticipating is, we're anticipating that the AND function that we're using checks to see if Joe is within flow Joe, and also that the number variable, which gets incremented every time, is equal to three. So let's actually take a run of this flow and take a look at actually what happens. Okay, so the flow ran correctly and the variables were assigned. So in the first loop, we can see that unfortunately the AND variable has returned a false because flow Joe uh, does contain Joe and the number variable does not equal to three, it equals to one at this point. So we increment it and then we check again. Okay, so flow Joe contains Joe, that's true. We know that's right, but the number variable at this point is still not equal to three. So it's equal to two. So we increment the number again. So the next one we're anticipating the number is set to three and flow Joe does contain Joe. So we're expecting a true back because the two functions are running within the and. If Joe is within flow Joe, and the number variable is equal to three, if they are both true, we're going to get a true back. So there you can see we now have a true because at this particular point, the number variable is at three. And we also see that Joe is within flow Joe. And that is how you can use the AND function to check two equations at the same time. And then obviously you can react to that. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.